Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty Loves LV here. Uh, tonight I want to show you something, uh, another handbag. I know I've really got to stop. After the Steve Madden bag, which I have been rocking this week and absolutely loving, I'm actually using my Kurt Geiger glitter card holder, which I love. Uh, I actually has enough space in all the card slots. They're not stiff at all. You can fit two cards into each slot. I have been loving that and it fits perfectly into the Steve Madden bag. And I actually caught myself looking at my bag in shop windows today on my lunch break. So I'm absolutely loving that bag. The strap is so comfortable. I don't know why I thought in my last video that I didn't like the strap because I actually meant to come back and say, after looking at the Louis Vuitton cream and pink strap, that is on the bandolier 20 that's fabric as is a steve madden which is dark brown but louis vuitton with their two thousand pound whatever it is now for a bandolier 20 i'm sure one day probably this year will go up to three thousand the way that they're going but anyway that's beside the point um it's a fabric strap and i said in my last video if it was cream or pink something like that louis vuitton strap you'd be worried sick about dirt from your coat or the rain or it brushing against something on the street or in your car if it fell and you know Steve Madden thank you thank you very much because you were right use a dark colored strap and it fits perfectly with the aesthetic because the bag is already brown monogram so I love that bag so much but tonight I'm here to show you something really really unique this is not a designer brand or it well might be a designer i'm not too sure but this is a lady i found on ebay who uses handbags that she has loved and hand paints them now i know i hand painted my tahitian neverfull kate that's not the first time you've mentioned that i know i'm only so proud because it kind of looked semi-okay and i am not an artist i cannot draw i painstakingly did that bag i'd never do it again even though i did it for the speedy and the neverfull and the speedy I did the VL or the, I always say the VL the LV and it didn't look right at all I kind of ruined it but anyway that's beside the point um this lady is an artiste and she I will drop her uh shop down below her eBay shop down below she does one of one design only for a bag and then she'll sell it and then do something completely different so every bag that she hand paints is an original one of a kind you'll never see it again so i kept watching this bag and watching this bag and i thought if this goes i will never get the opportunity to get this bag again if i what a talent if i had a talent like this to paint bags oh guys you've just got to see her shop um she has a funny her shop name is kind of it's very very hard to pronounce so i will drop it down below but i will stop talking so this is an old bag of hers now this is uh before i show it to you an adina ronnie real leather bag so already you've got good value there adina ronnie was a hungarian um fashion designer and, and model her father was a famous food critic i'll drop her bio down below you can get her bags on ebay they're real leather i don't think i've seen one that's pu leather they all seem to be real leather i will personally say i'd never heard of this lady but um she does have a website with some dresses and they're quite pricey they're about 400 pounds so but i can't see any bags maybe the bags were something she did before but it's a real leather bag so it's really and she's the lady has looked after this so well but I've got to show you this and I hate the fact that it's not going to do it justice with this light but let's just go and see how we do anyway so here we go here is the bag look at this guys so this lady has hand painted all of this how beautiful is this I will try and turn this light down because it's actually a bit too bright that's better so this is Obviously, Alice in Wonderland themed. We've got the Adina Rome uh, bag charm there, which is a lovely touch. This is a leather uh, pleat in the middle. And this wonderful lady with such a talent has painted all the characters that are from Alice in Wonderland. And I love Alice in Wonderland. It was my favourite film growing up. I just love the white rabbit, how nervous he was. And the Cheshire cat was so funny. You can go this way or you can go that way but to me personally i prefer the short cut and then he pulls the thing down i was sorry i love that film <laughs> uh so this lady has what a talent all of this is hand painted it says we're all mad here 
I love this quote from Alice in Wonderland because that is exactly how I feel. I'm a bit mad, I'm a bit quirky, and I don't care. But look at this talent, guys. And hopefully the light will pick this up. There's little specks of blue and purple paint. It's nearly like a spray paint effect. Can you see it there? All along here. Absolutely beautiful. So we have Alice there tumbling into Wonderland. There's the caterpillar. There's the Cheshire cat. So cute. Little white rabbit. We have tea. We have a butterfly. We have the, I always say this wrong. I was going to say, is it pelican? It's always, it's a pelican. It is a pelican. Always got confused with a pelican and an ostrich. English is I think it's a pelican. Pink pelican. Uh, we have a, uh, we have the Mad Hatter's hat here. We have the Queen of Hearts crown. We have a mushroom. We have the uh, Eat Me sign. We have uh, from the cookies that uh, Alice eats to get smaller or to get bigger. We have the. I'm I can't I'm not going to say it on YouTube in case not that any children will be watching this, but I'm not going to say the word. I'm just going to say smoking apparatus that the caterpillar uses we have a beautiful heart for the queen of hearts uh we have alice's shoe just falling off here there are two playing cards it even goes around the bottom guys i mean this is just insane how beautiful this is there is the clock there there is drink me and just the end of the banner here it is just if i show you this and i wanted to use it today but we had rain forecast for today and even though i know it's acrylic paint I just didn't want anything to happen to it so it's absolutely beautiful let me just turn down this light one more time because i think it's a bit too bright actually there we go let's turn it off for a sec so you can kind of absolutely beautiful guys so like i said i didn't buy this for the bag i bought it for obviously this wonderful talent that this lady possesses and it is absolutely beautiful. It, it was one of those things I looked at the pictures and when I opened it, I, I was like, this can't be real. It just, um, just in person, this is stunning. And what's so good about this bag, it's a nice big open bag. It has two like rods at the start, at the top that just kind of naturally close together when you obviously are rocking it as a shoulder bag. And I think it'll be a great tote. Here it is on the side with me and inside so roomy huge big zip what i actually did was i bought a little alice charm from ebay i thought i was going to be able to put it on this charm but it's too thick and i, I couldn't get it through so i thought oh i'll put it on a bracelet or something but then i realized i could put it on the zip inside so inside it just says adina romay with that oh, it's a little pickup there we go so we're doing a romay a lovely big open compartment there it's beautiful really thick fabric lining and two open uh compartments on this side and like i said i added this little alice charm from ebay i'll drop that link below a lovely seller who does charms for everything if you have a bracelet and you'd like to uh, add some things in so yeah guys it is absolutely huge apparently it's 40 nearly 35 40 centimeters in width this is what i love you know guys that i love huge big totes but wow to think this i would have never looked at something like this twice if it was just black if it just came like that no look at this talent absolutely amazing and i cannot wait i'm watching the forecast every day to check when it's not going to rain because i don't want to worry about this not that anything would happen because obviously this lady knows what she's doing and she's got a hundred percent positive feedback on ebay guys so please check her out i will link her um shop down below she also says she doesn't take customized requests anymore she must have been getting a lot but she says in her shop uh, on the listing details of any of the bags that she is open to suggestions if you have any suggestions she may pick up on a suggestion for you so if you have a film or an animal or something she has oh my word she has a monkey this beautiful monkey one and a corgi 
um, to mark the passing of the Queen, which a, a beautiful bag. And they're always done used beautiful uh, used on beautiful bags like Tula, which is real leather. And uh, there was another one that I saw, uh, real leather. If she doesn't real use a real leather bag, she's very honest. She tells you what the um, brand of the bag is. So depending on the design and obviously the type of bag, it varies in price. This one, I think, is an absolute steal. I got this for £60 plus £4 packaging. And I think after receiving it in person, I would have happily paid more than that. I think it is absolutely beautiful. All the hard work and the effort that, sh that this lady put in for this beautiful bag. And I love the fact that it continues all the way down to the bottom. How much time and effort this took absolutely beautiful so i cannot wait to rock this bag i know i'm having my steve madden at the minute but when i received this yesterday i was like no i really want to use this i really 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 want to use this um it's just gorgeous guys what a talent i wish i had a talent like this because if i could paint handbags that's exactly what i'd be doing every night if i had a talent like this but unfortunately i do not so, but what a wonderful idea to have a talent like that. What a great idea to recycle your bags that you have and make them into collector's pieces. Because that's a collector's piece. There's no one in the world that has another bag like this. Amazing. Such a good idea. So, like I said, I will drop uh, the seller, uh, her shop down below. Please check her out. She is amazing. Um, I will also drop down, what did I say? I would leave down for you as well. The Alice Charm that I bought in case, and but you can shop around. The whole the, this lady who does all the charms, handmade of course, she has figures for everything, charms for everything, films and TV characters. Like I said, I did buy that charm because I thought I could kind of fit it onto here. That's why I got a gold one, but it was just too small. The catch was just too small, but I just thought it was a nice little touch. And when you look into it, there's a little Alice charm there too. So absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait to rock this. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, yes, I really, no, I, I've got to stop with the bags. This is getting crazy. This is getting silly. And I have more than enough. So I've got to stop. Uh, I will come back with, um, I've decided on my next couple of videos, I'm going to do my least used bags and my most used bags. Do it that way. I had a friend over on Saturday and I gave her a House of Holland bag that I bought, never wore, and I knew I would never use because it was just too small. I gave her an old wallet of mine. She actually had an old card holder of mine that I gave her and we went for dinner on Saturday and it was literally falling apart. And I said, no, you cannot use that card holder. That is ridiculous. So I gave her another one. She was like, do not use it. I was like, I have 20, 30 wallets it's ridiculous just take it i gave her a perfume i didn't like she she left this house with a lot of stuff guys she got a perfume she got nail polish two nail polishes actually because i i'm just not doing nail polish anymore guys i i'm so addicted to fake nails even though my nails underneath are terrible i just love the fact that i can just wear these for weeks on end and not have anything chip so i'm really not um down with nail polish anymore so i gave her a couple of colors that she liked give her a i gave her two bags and uh yeah two bags a wallet and two nail polishes and she took them all <laughs> she said she felt oh i don't want to i said no 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 i don't want money i want these gone i won't if they're house of holland or something you know that's not the the, the wallet was accessorized you wouldn't get your money back going on eBay or, you know, th this is the kind of stuff that ends up in a charity shop anyway. So I didn't mind, but I did. I had shown her the Michael Kors wallet, which I have here, if she wanted this, because I have my Victorine wallet. Um, But uh, I was going to charge for the Michael Kors. I was going to say, well, I bought it for 80. It's been used only a number of times and it's still in great nick. And I was going to ask her for 40, but... um. No, she um, wanted the free stuff. <laughs> so there you go. So guys, like I said, uh, please check out this seller on eBay. What a talent. Wish I had it. Boy, do I wish I had a talent like that. That's absolutely amazing. One last look so you can appreciate it, guys. And every design is different and unique. Absolutely beautiful. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I've got no bags on the radar. I don't plan to buy any unless something catches my eye. To be fair, the Steve Madden one just caught my eye because they kept emailing me about sale. And then I went into all bags and saw the Steve Madden. I was like, wow, that looks like the Louis Vuitton Stephen Sprouse graffiti. I love it because it's a band like a bandolier style. I love that bag ever since I started using it. And then I just came across this and I don't know how I came across it. I was looking for a phone or something on eBay. I can't remember. And this popped up and I was like, wow, this is amazing. So um, maybe I said like hand design. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, yes, uh, eBay. Oof, when you get into eBay and then you start looking for stuff. Oh, it can be bad, dude. Anyway, so guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Like I said, I'm going to do my least used bags, I think. And then I will see what I'm going to do with them bags. I, I'm, oh, least and never used. I think two separate videos because there are some that I've never used. Shamefully. Shamefully. I know. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Mwah! Bye, guys.